Thanks for watching UAPB Newscast. I'm Carissa Bailey. And I'm Gabriel McDonald. On April 19th, MSNBC political analyst Michael Steele spoke at the UAPB Chancellor's Convention. This former Lieutenant Governor of Maryland was the first African American elected to a statewide office in that state. In 2009, he became the chairman of the Republican National Committee. During his speech, he urged students to use the rights and privileges others fought for to gain. Steele also told students they are the best hope to stand with others all over the nation and say free at last. The political analyst has appeared on The Daily Show, Meet the Press, and Real Time with Bill Maher. In local politics, the Arkansas community organizations are sponsoring a candidate forum on Monday, April 30th at 5 o'clock. The event will take place at the Donald W. Reynolds Community Center. The candidates for City Council, Justice of the Peace, and County Judge have been invited to attend. The public is welcome at the event. For more information, call 870-536-6300. The City of Pine Bluff is doing something to help young people get jobs. The Summer Youth Program plans to provide jobs and job training for Jefferson County students ages 16 to 21. The goals of the program are to give real-world expectations, opportunities for career instruction, lessons on how to manage money, and academic and social improvement. In addition to working, participants attend weekly workshops on workplace readiness, continuing their education, resume writing, and other topics. If selected, Participants will earn $8.50 an hour. You can pick up an application form at the City of Pine Bluff Human Resource Department or online at cityofpinebluff.com. The deadline to apply is Monday, April 30th. Here's another opportunity coming up for young people. The Family Community Development Corporation will host its summer youth program from June 4th to August 3rd. The program will be held at 1001 North Palm Street from 7.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Some activities will include art, bowling, chess, field trips, black history, and more. For more information, call 870-850-4802. A well-known hotel in Pine Bluff is almost completely vacant. Frederick Price has more on why this has been a dilemma for the city for many years. City officials of Pine Bluff are not happy with the condition that the Plaza Hotel is currently in. If you remember just a few years ago, the building was actually vacant and had no ownership from anyone. Just last year, a gentleman by the name of Mike Patel purchased this building and he said that he would invest $500,000 into the renovation and perhaps making this a franchise. We reached out to Alderman Stephen Mays, who currently sits on the board of Pine Bluff City Council Board, and he says that back in 2016, he was interested in purchasing this building. He brought it to the board's attention and they denied his request. At the current time, Stephen Mays is still interested in buying it and he hopes that he can work out a deal pretty soon. We spoke with Evelyn Horton, who is the director of the Quality of Life Division in Pine Bluff, and she says that her and her team will be conducting a cold assessment of this building in the coming weeks. We reached out to the owner of the hotel, Mike Patel, and here's what he had to say. I'm not owned by the city. I would always welcome if they want to give me more support, but right. I wish we have more support from them. I, I wish I, I can make some money from there someday or I have a hope, otherwise I will have to close my doors and go to the home. We reached out to the mayor of Pine Bluff, Charlie Washington, to get her perspective on this. She said that she'd get back with us at a later date. Mike Patel says that at this point, the building is up for sale and that he's willing to negotiate a deal with anyone interested. Of course, we'll keep you updated on this story as more news becomes available. For UAPB TV News, I'm Frederick Price and Pine Bluff. Could you use a free checkup? Consolidated St. Mary and Baptist District Association will host Family and Community Health Fair. It will take place Saturday, May 5th at the Pine Bluff High School Gym. There will be screenings for diabetes, blood pressure, dental and vision issues. There will also be free food and games. For more information, call 501-251-7265 or 870-718-6041. Now it's time for a look at the weather. You may have spring fever, you may be ready for grass to turn green and flowers to bloom, but are you prepared for severe weather this spring? As severe weather approaches, there will be several alerts to inform you of the impending threats. Now there's a distinct difference between a watch and a warning, and knowing the difference can save your life. A watch, if a watch of any kind is issued, say a thunderstorm watch or a tornado watch, it is there to inform you of a storm, a developing storm, to give you time to prepare. 
Warnings, on the other hand, are far more serious. A warning is issued when a storm can produce up to one inch size hail and or 58 miles per hour stronger winds. If a tornado warning, for instance, is issued, you should seek shelter immediately. Go to the lowest form of your house or building with no surrounding windows. Now, enough about severe weather, let's go into our current temperatures. It's currently 53 degrees in Pine Bluff and it feels like 53 degrees. This afternoon we'll jump up to 75, this evening we'll be at 71, and tonight we'll be at 50. In the morning it's still going to be cool, we'll be at 52 degrees. Today there will be a high of 75, a low of 52, with northwest winds at 8 miles per hour. On Saturday, it's going to be sunny, pleasantly warm, will be a high of 79 and a low of 47 with northwest winds at 7 miles per hour. On Sunday, there will be a few clouds in the sky, there will be a high of 71, a low of 50 with east winds at 9 miles per hour. And on Monday, there will be more clouds in the sky, warm temperatures will be a high, there will be a high of 80 degrees and a low of 51 southeast winds at 11 miles per hour. And on Tuesday, there'll be a few clouds in the sky. There'll be a high of 84 and a low of 60, south winds at 12 miles per hour. This is my very last newscast. Thank you for having me. Take care, back to you. Well, that's it for this edition of UAPB News. I'm Gabriel McDonald. And I'm Carissa Bailey. Take care.